everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Michelle Madrigal Wolfolk. Welcome, welcome. So for today's vlog, I am going to share with you guys 20 things I learned from 2020. But before anything else, before we start, I just want to give a shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this vlog. If you guys have been watching my YouTube for a while now, you know that I've started using them. I've started learning from their classes last around November and they are amazing. So if you don't know about Skillshare, let me share with you guys. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative people like you and me. So if you've been wanting to enhance a skill, kung gusto mong may matutunan ka, learn new skills, deepen your passion, this is the right class for you. This is the right place for you. So what they do is they provide all these amazing classes. They are less than 60 minutes. So you can definitely fit this within your schedule. Also, I like that they curated this program simply for learning. So expect na walang ads. So hindi may interrupt ang pag-aaral mo when you're learning a new skit. So right now, I am currently learning Instagram hashtag secrets for organic community growth by Benji Wilson. As you may all know, I have been doing my online business, online coaching, and also trying to grow my Instagram followers here in the US. Shempre, I'm trying to, you know, have that organic growth, no paid ads, none of that. Para naman, I can be a better influencer so I can reach more people. With that being said, since this is a sponsored vlog, the first one thousand subscribers to click the link will get a free trial to Skillshare premium membership so if you guys have any questions drop them down below but yes just click the link below and you guys can have a free trial all right so now we can go and start the vlog okay so 20 things I learned in 2020. I have snacks and water. Let's chitty chat. I actually wrote it down. All right, first, I started believing in myself. So this 2020, I started believing in myself. Because lagi ako may mga questions like, can I do it? All these limiting beliefs. And the reason why I know people come to me for help in regards to like health and wellness, fitness, nutrition, all these things. And I am qualified. I have my certifications and things like that. But alam mo yun, minsan you just have this question like, am I good enough to be a coach? Qualified ba talaga ako? It's just all these negative thoughts na kailangan kong ma-overcome to actually start the business. And this is why even during a pandemic, sinimulan ko ang aking one-on-one -on -one online coaching only because I believed in myself. I know I can help people. And I've been helping women for, you know, a few years now since I started my postpartum journey. So that's the first thing na natutunan ko talaga this year was believing in myself. Because if I don't believe in myself, then who will, right? Kung hindi ka naniniwala sa sarili mo, how can you actually be successful, right? Even if it's like the small smallest thing. Believe in yourself and the rest will follow. Number two, accepting my past and deciding to go through a healing journey. So one thing na natutunan ko rin talaga during this pandemic was to really learn more about myself. Tinanggap ko yung mga past experiences ko because I honestly subconsciously did not know that I was holding so much, you know, and lumalabas siya. Like it came out, like ang dami kong anger issues and things like that. And by just acknowledging yung mga things na napagdaanan mo in life, and moving forward and accepting it and just go through a healing process can really help you. So I would even say like, I'm such a different person from 2020 to now. In the beginning of 2020, I did not know what to do. I was still, yes, I had that idea of, oh, should I do my online coaching? We did have an app, but at the same time, I wasn't 100% going all in. The first thing that sinabi ko is I didn't believe in myself. It looked like I had everything together, but not really. So really accepting my past and deciding to like heal myself from it. Number three, live in the moment. That is really hard, especially this day and age with social media, everything, 
you know, instant gratification. You want to do this. You want to have all these amazing things. But honestly, what the pandemic has taught me or 2020 has taught me is really to live in the moment because that is the only moment we have. Like when people say you can never get back time, it's freaking true. And it's sad because a lot of people have lost their loved ones during the pandemic last year. And it's just crazy. I am always looking for the next step. Like, oh, what can I do? It's good to have a plan, but you also have to live in the moment. It made me realize how important it is to just be surrounded by your family and really experiencing life with your loved ones. What truly makes you happy living in that moment. Every day is a moment. Number four, prioritize self-care. All right, I struggled with this for a few years, hence why I had like baby postpartum depression. But prioritizing self-care is not selfish. Kailangan mo yun. Even if you're not a mom, if you're a dad, if you're a single woman, you're a career-driven woman, or kahit ano pa, you need that for yourself because it's different for everyone. Some people, they like to do the whole shebang. Like self-care for them is traveling, going to different places, eating at a very expensive restaurant. It could be very different for everyone. But sometimes a simple self-care is just having 10 minutes to yourself. Meditation. It's really getting to know yourself on a deeper level. So whatever it is that you do for yourself, keep pushing. Ituloy mo yan because important yan. Because how can you actually love others if you're not filling up your own cup. Number five, you don't need to be productive on the go all the time. <laughs> Taking some time for yourself is not selfish or lazy. Since I was 15 years old, since I started acting, I was always on the go. Taping, movies, pictorials. I was always on the go. So on free day ko lang, let's say I have one free day out of seven days, I'll either work out, go to the spa, or have lunch with my friends. So yun yung mga ginawa ko before and even after I became a mom, doon ako sobra nag-struggle because becoming a stay mom is hard. Mahirap dahil hindi alam lahat ng tao na okay, you're with this baby all day long. Yes, the feeling is different but not a lot of moms talk about that. Hindi lahat very open about it, how they truly feel. And when I became a stay mom, sobra nahirapan ako because sanay ako na I'm always on the go. Feeling ko pag hindi ako nagtatrabaho, ay ang tamad ko because I had that hustle hard mentality. Like talagang go, go, go. Even when I moved here, I had two jobs. So, pag uwi ko, I would sleep. This was before the baby. Like, I would just sleep. Or pag may day off, meet up with friends. That's it. But during, like, my working days, tuloy-tuloy ako. I wake up at 4 and I'll get home at, like, 9 o'clock p.m. So, nasanay ako. I had this idea na if you're not really working or doing anything, you're just lazy or whatever. But it's not true. Like, sometimes, kailangan mo rin ang break, you know? Even just for a couple hours. Don't feel bad. It's okay. Give yourself that time. Para hindi ka masyado na overwhelmed. But also, you have to be be responsible. Hindi naman pwedeng everyday, Ay, I don't feel like it. Kailangan ko ng time for myself. Hindi naman pwedeng ganun palagi. <laughs> Dahil syempre, kailangan, especially if you're working from home, you have to do your job as well. Have always something to look forward to. Gratitude. I would say before, and I would share it to people, but this year has really, natutunan ko yan this year. Every single day now, I've been going through this inner self healing, letting go, talagang making sure na, what are the top three things that I'm excited about today. Whether it be, oh, I get to have my coffee. Warm. Because before, first year of motherhood, lang yung miyak yung baby mo. Also, minsan malamig na yung kape mo. Even those little things. I get to move. I get to train today. Or, oh, I get to hang out with my spouse or my daughter today. Those little things, pag sinulat mo, they may not mean anything, but actually, yun yung mga pinaka-importante yung bagay na dapat bigyan mo ng pansin to like really nurture. It doesn't have to be like grand every single day, but just, it remind mo lang yung sarili mo every single day. Ano bang three things that you look forward to for that day? Then, doon, magsisimula lahat yan. Siyempre, pag sinimulan mo yung sarili mo on a lighter note, imagining things like, oh my gosh, I actually get to train today, you know? Instead of, oh my gosh, I'm gonna train today. Things like that, it gives you a different perspective in life and mas na-enjoy mo yung araw-araw na buhay rather. So, pag finocus mo yung things sa ganon rather than sa mga negatibong bagay, then magpa-flourish ang buhay mo, right? Right? Little things like that. Pwede mong kahit, kahit one thing lang na excited ka for that day. Write it down. Number 
Seven. Be patient and trust your journey. So, dito naman, I guess for me, it's really being patient with, yun nga, parang I was comparing myself a lot talaga sa mga taong nasa social media, like celebrities and things like that, especially like my co-Filipino celebrities because sobrang nag-iba talaga yung buhay ko when I moved here. Actually, I'm blessed because I'm able to have, you know, partnerships here. I became an influencer here and that's big because hindi lahat nakakapag-transition sa ganun. Ang problema ko dati is focus ko tayo, how come I, wala ako nito? How come I don't have this? Instead na, ano bang pwede kong gawin to really like put myself out there? Like here, I became my own manager. I talked to people about brand partnerships, collaborations. Ako ang nagdi-deal niyan. Unlike before, there are no manager in the Philippines. That's what they did. Kung anong show gagawin ko, when when will I start filming, things like that. They handled all that. But moving here, it put me in a different situation where ako ang manager ko. I am also the talent. I am the brand. So. I had to learn all that and I had to be patient. Sometimes like when I reach out to managers or brand partnerships and we don't align, then all right, that's not for me. I just have to be patient and wait for the right people to come because yun nga, masyado ko minadali before. I partnered with different brands just to put myself out there even though it wasn't fully aligned with what I want in my brand or within my personal brand. Shepre with that, means and mahihirapan ng mga tao to like trust you. And but now I'm very, 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 very particular with the people I work with. Just trusting the journey with this new online coaching, growing my community organically, trying to find more US followers for my YouTube and also Instagram. Number eight. Time is a limited resource. Don't waste it for people and things that don't add value to your life. Okay? One thing talaga na natututunan ko, I've transitioned and now, I usually say yes to people. You wanna hang out? Sure. Cause I was bored. Now, it's not necessarily like, na, oh, we have to do something special all the time. But if my vibe, my aura, and the things that I do doesn't align with someone, why would I waste that energy? Important ang energy, guys. Like, ang anak ko palang, she takes up so much of my energy. So sometimes, I even struggle to hang out with my husband because all day, the daughter's not in school like oh my gosh she's just wild and she's very energetic and you know nakakain yung energy ko so by the time the gabi means I was like oh I'm also a wife kailangan kong pagsabay-sabay yung energy ko um, kailangan ko siya i-divide let's just say you have friends that they just take and take and take from you and you know whenever may kailangan sila sa'yo you're always there for them but then when it's the other way around hindi mo sila mahanap yung mga kaiganyang klaseng tao sis leave them alone. You don't need to always say yes to people and you have to preserve your energy regardless kung I have had friends na matagal ko nang kakilala but then I kind of outgrew them and it's good when people tell you oh you've changed yes and I'm proud of it and I'm not gonna feel bad and I don't feel bad so when people tell you oh you've changed well thank you and I'm glad you recognize it too so either you come with me, join me in this new lifestyle, whatever path I'm going, or goodbye. Important yan. Kaya nga sabi nila, when you get older, minsan lima lang kaibigan. Minsan dalawa lang. And I am okay with that. Next, number nine. You must protect your energy. Energy goes, but energy flow. Like what I mentioned prior to this, Importante kung kanino mo binibigay yung energy mo. At the end of the day, kung hindi ka masaya dun sa kasama mo, maybe a friend, a partner, or something, if these people are not letting you grow, anong point? So this is why importante talaga ang alignment. Making sure na, alright, do we have the same values? Even if not, how can we compromise the other person, friends, or whoever, family members, they need to compromise with you. So, alagaan mo yung energy mo. Because if you're just giving, 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 wala nang matitira sa'yo, alright? And that could feel very overwhelming. Sometimes, minsan, kahit yung mga simpleng arguments lang, if it doesn't require your 100%, girl, Pabayaan mo na, palipasin mo na lang. It's okay. Protect your energy. Hindi lahat dapat papatulan mo. Number 10, saying and expressing what you want. 
either with relationships, manifesting what you truly want, like in life. If you're someone na gusto mo ng mga luxurious things, if you're someone na gusto mo ng to be a career woman, say it. Walang mali doon. The people around you should understand that. Tell them what you really want. Kasi ikaw din ang mahihirapan at the end of the day. Like if you're just going with the flow, oh no, it's okay. You're gonna be really, really sad. Talagang minsan dun ko na realize, like I talk to other people and they tell me, oh yeah, I had this opportunity five years ago, I didn't take it because blah 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 blah. You don't wanna be that person because it is sad when you don't go after what you want. Ikaw lang din ang magsasuffer. Next, setting smart goals is great, but learning how to pivot these goals is even better. One thing I remember a year ago, I was in a very different position. Uh, I wrote all these goals. Honestly, within the three month time frame when the pandemic hit, nagbago lahat ng goals ko. Because of that, talaga nag pivot ako and I said, all right, this is probably the perfect time because online coaching is probably good right now because nobody was going to the gym, everything was closed, we were on lockdown. So, one thing talaga na napag decide ko at the time was, am I just gonna keep writing my goals and not take action? Because, yeah, it's so easy to write goals, it's easy to say, oh, these are my goals, whatever, but what is the next step? Do you just have to be able to pivot? Kung hindi nag work yung isang way, then try another way. Hindi naman isang formula lang ang meron. You can always try and try different ways to get you to your goals. And I'm not necessarily saying na, oh, paiba ka na paiba ng trabaho every time. It's just, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're building an online business like myself, you gotta try different things to succeed. Number 12. I am enough. I've learned the hard way. I am enough. And I always say this things that I am enough because before growing up, lagi ako naiinggit, even when I was an actress, I tend to always like compare myself to others because growing up, na bully ako. I remember people would just pull my hair like in the morning after using the national anthem. So I would literally go to the restroom and I would eat there for lunch breaks. Para hindi ako why ng mga girls, they would bully me. After years and years of looking through social media, this year has really taught me to love myself. I am enough. You know, I've removed my implants because I am enough. I don't need it. It made me happy when I was a teenager, not anymore. By acknowledging that, talagang mag-iiba, mag-flourish ka talaga within yourself once you accept who you really are and getting to know yourself on a deeper level. 13. Meditation can help with anxiety and depression. It could be in different forms. Some people, they could meditate, not necessarily sitting up. People, when they when they say meditation, akala ng tao, you sit up, hum, yes, that is also one way. But for some, it could be you're just laying on the ground in pure silence, not letting any new thoughts come to your head, focusing on your breathing. Ako yan, sa umaga, before I, I would set my alarm every, at 5.30, 5.15 to 5.30 in the morning, morning routine, I would go into the office and I would, would meditate for 10 minutes or sometimes I would listen to podcasts and it feels good. Sobrang prime time yan for me. 5.15 to 5.30 in the morning. Tahimik lahat. You get to see the sunrise around 6.15 in the morning while I'm in the office. It's just, it gives me pure joy, inner peace. And once na feel mo yan, talagang, you're able to control those negative thoughts. It really makes you feel so much better. And it really helped a lot during my anxiety or when I had depression. And I'm not saying it's completely gone. It's an everyday battle that I fight. That's why I say this every single day in my stories, in my Instagram. Mindset is everything. You gotta fight through it every single day. I don't wake up just, ha <laughs> Dito to ang Of course, hindi ka naman perfect. Wala naman perfect. I would yell sometimes. Bigla kung nagagalit. And I fight through that every single day. So meditation really helps. It calms your mind and your body. 14. Acknowledging if I am being reactive or responsive. So this was a very transitional year for me and Troy because again, I don't know if it was because of the pandemic na every day kami magkasama. And I knew that from before. I'm not that type of woman, wife, spouse, partner. I've never been with any of my partners before, not 24-7. Cause I was always on the go. I na nag live in ako before, like I would barely see them. And that's how it was for me and I like that. 
like I felt empowered and now it's like oh my gosh I'm at home so feeling ko talaga na clash kami and for the most part talagang lagi lang ako nagre-react instead of being responsive talagang I can go from 0 to 100 but by just me acknowledging that it really helps a lot because some people they don't know that they tend to be like that na talagang reactive lang na pag madami kang triggers issues whatever they always like, fight fight ano galip ka or whatever but this year really learning about myself and acknowledging and finding out na okay for the most part I'm always being reactive yeah minsan talaga magsisigawan kami ng asawa ko but you know it's a learning process if you have these issues as well I highly recommend to get a counselor either a solo session therapy or a couples therapy if you guys are having issues but yeah that really helped us a lot within our marriage also for me kasi kung hindi mo rin alam na may kailangan baguhin sa sarili mo, then you'll never learn from it. You'll be in denial. Number 15. I can truly do anything I put my mind to. Taking action. Like I mentioned earlier, I was that girl writing all the goals. And then what? Wala! Walang action. Okay, let me keep posting whatever and just wait for it to come back. Like now I've been more, I learned how to be more organized. You know, taking action, like talagang backing up what I say and what I put. Telling yourself that you can do anything. This happened because I believed in myself this year that I know I can help people. All right, next up, having a healthy relationship with money can save you tomorrow and your future. So, yan ang talagang pinag-aaralan ko pa because I am very gastadora. <laughs> like, I just feel like, oh, there's money, then we spend it, right? Acknowledging that fact is the first step for me and di ako marunong mag-budget. Actually, since I started my business, when I started learning, putting it on Google Sheet or whatever and started learning, okay, magkano yung kinita ko last month, magkano yung lalabas with all the money na, you know, with all the bills na kailangan bayaran, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a 32-year-old woman and I'm just now learning this. Before, it was like an abundance. I didn't have to pay for my daughter, I didn't have a spouse, it was just all for me and, you know, I bought a condo at the time so I know where it was going. I was able to pretty much budget at the time but hindi ako yung talagang limited na okay this month ito lang ang gagasos and so now I'm learning how to have a healthy relationship with money next up don't take things personal ito mat grabe talaga to for me <laughs> kasi minsan talaga kahit naman it's not really meant for me magre-react ayun na naman that's me being reactive diba like oy hoy feeling mo tina target mo naman ako but that's something I need to work on within myself kasi nga marami akong trigger points and Getting to know those trigger points can really help me. Talaga na minsan, am I being reactive or ano ba? Tama ba yung narinig ko? Like, not everybody is always attacking you, okay? So, that's the thing that I'm also learning. And it's gonna be a journey. It's a lifelong journey. But acknowledging things is the first, the 18 listen. Yan ang natutunan ko din. Makinig. For the most part, I always just talk, 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 talk. And I don't listen. So I think the beauty of that is really to understanding. Kasi when you listen, you actually understand the person rather than, eh, bakit gato? Or bakit ganyan? Like, just try to reply or respond to whatever they're saying. That is really a big issue of mine. Na minsan hindi ako marunong makinig. I just... Da, 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 da. I'll wait for me to like reply. <laughs> and 19, be intentional with everything you do. Talagang kailangan intentional ka sa mga ginagawa mo. Kasi sayang sa energy and time if you're just doing things for no reason. Again, it comes with why do I need to spend time with this person? Whether it be to deepen our friendship or, you know, just finding that purpose and being intentional with what you do, even with your business. You are responsible for your own happiness. And this is why I couldn't fully grasp the meaning of that growing up. I've had that issue before. That's why it was easy for me to jump from one relationship to another because feeling ko yung ibang tao, like that partner, will make me happy. And then if they stop making me happy, they stop doing things for me, and then nandun na ako yung, oh, start ko na tong conflict na to para tingnan ko kung gaano mo ako kamahal. <laughs> like, I think before, isa rin yung sarisit ko na kaya back to back, I'll have a relationship. Oh, that person makes me happy. But then, what am I offering to myself? Like, it's really important to know kung ano talaga yung gusto mo. And this is why it's important to know what you really want. Maging intentional ka within yourself, with everything that you do. Because these are the things that will make you happy. Just by asking yourself, what do you really want? Knowing that and getting to know yourself on a deeper level will make you happy. Because if you just go with the flow or you think that, oh, maybe whatever she's doing will make me happy. Or you may think na yung nakikita mo sa social 
social media or with your friends or other people's lives will make you happy. No, you gotta get to know yourself first. And I think that was part of my unpacking journey. Na hindi ko na intindihan yun before. It was like on this new relationship or whatever. I didn't give myself that chance to actually get to know myself. Na walang ibang tao. I always depended on somebody else. And hindi mo alam na pwede yun magbackfire sa yo ten years down the road. This is why I also had a letter to like my younger self. You can't really love other people. You can't share all these other good things with people if you don't even really love yourself. And I'm not, you know, saying that I don't fully love myself and I'm, you know, in this whole marriage or whatever. But then, hindi ko alam na isa pala siya sa reasons ko why sometimes I will have oh, resentment or things like that because hindi ko kilala yung sarili ko when I was in my 20s. I didn't get to know myself better when I was in my 20s. So that's the only thing na talaga ma-advise ko to younger women out there. Even if you're married, just don't wait for other people to make you happy. You gotta find your own happiness and you can just combine that with your spouse, with your family, and para hindi ka masyadong affected when things doesn't go your way, alright? So, that is it, you guys, for this vlog. I hope you found this valuable, and I'm really happy that I'm able to share the things I've learned in 2020 to you guys. I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you, thank you if you watched the video all the way to this. Maraming maraming salamat. Again, I will see you guys next time, and thank you for all your support from the bottom of my heart. Mahal na mahal ko kayo and I really, really appreciate you guys.